Good morning. Hello. Should be able to hear me now. Good morning, everyone. Hello. <laughs> I uh, rearranged my setup, so I unplugged my mic and it disconnected. But also, good morning. Hello, hello, everyone. We're just doing some final edits on Skarek here, who we finished over the weekend. And we're just going to tweak his leg. It's pretty much the final step right there. Remember, it's at an angle. Hello, play. Good morning. Happy Monday. It's Monday, worst day for some people. Not necessarily the day. It's over. A lot of people just don't enjoy their jobs. Can't blame them, though. Can't blame them. Hey, Loopmonger, thank you for the 10 bits. Much appreciated. Well, welcome. Happy Monday to you as well. And anyone else that's lurking out there. I better not have done all this work on a flat shape. Thank goodness. Whew. Our shape key. Does that character have an inverted knee? Uh, uh, yes, in the sense that it is a digigrade character. No, in the sense of how it actually works. <laughs> the The skeleton is exactly the same as a human. Um, we just uh, we just treat the whole section rule below the knee as is as is as is <laughs> as if it is. My goodness, only Monday. Um, <laughs> uh, just like a normal leg. Thought you were doing some advanced rigging. You definitely can in VR chat, and I've seen people make fully uh, functional digigrade legs, but uh, unfortunately, you can't do that in Quest. Do you now have inverted knees? What you think is a knee is an ankle, or do not? Gotcha. Typing over cat typos will occur. <laughs> Just as the cat wanted. Evil. Evil. 
Oops, I should have hit edit reference, but it's not matched to rig. Also, 3D printer, 3D printer, pretty excited about that. Gonna be able to 3D print stuff, getting that set up. So resin, resin fit printer, obviously, but um, new angle slash room, new room, new angle now. I usually was, I was facing this way, now we've rotated here. Because I've got a 3D printer now, and uh, I actually want to set up a green screen as well. Uh, so I'll be putting up like a curtain here, basically. I'll have to take several weeks to see how that's going. <laughs> I'm very excited. Um, we'll probably be, uh, my, my brother and I and a friend of ours pitched in to get it. Because uh, we're all in a DD and d campaign, so we're going to definitely be making some D&D related stuff. So I didn't say hello or good morning, Stardom. Good morning, Stardom. Oops. All right, it's not mirrored. I have to do this by hand. Otherwise, it won't change on the other side. Make sure after you figure out how to use it, you will find a million things to make with it. I think so. I think so. I was just sitting there like, I want to make phone case i'm gonna make <laughs> it feels pretty endless like which is a good thing i think uh that's exciting uh, certainly i'm like oh man i would really love to print out some of my avatars i don't think i'll be able to do all of them because or like i don't I wouldn't, I wouldn't include it in like a standard commission but uh, i have that that power now to figure it out but i definitely want to have like a little wall of uh, <laughs> a little uh, trophy case of avatars that I printed. So I could use some new legs on my keyboard. Oh, interesting. Does it walk around? <laughs> More than I would like. <laughs> All right, I think the legs are good. So go ahead and save that and get rid of this image now. And then we'll do auto rig pro. Support. It's just a flesh wound, 3D prints a new leg. <laughs> I'm curious, I was just thinking about the other day, it's like, I wonder if 3D printers will ever get good enough to, like, make any type of uh, computer or circuits, CPUs, anything like that. Probably not, because that's already, like, you, know, you get real tiny um, scales there, but... Uh, Uh, 
Ever? <laughs> Probably. In the near future, I doubt it. I was just thinking, it's like... I, I watched this... Oh, there's the this programmer or game indie game developer, Jonathan Blow. Um, and uh, he had a really interesting talk on... In his view, what the de- the that software is declining and how good it is, um, which is very interesting. Did see someone design and print a prosthetic arm, and he compared it to an expensive professional one, and his was way better. Interesting. That's pretty cool, though. I mean, it is nice to think that it would be personalized, because I can't imagine that all limbs all maimed or um, handicapped limbs look the same. Especially looking at ASML restriction, for example, tiny is not something that would be accepted by the world just quite. Well, I was just thinking, like, what if it wasn't even, like, a, you know, it doesn't have to be top of the line, but if you could find a way to print, like, a CPU from 20 years ago. Hello, Elaine Chiang. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. We're working on getting an avatar updated um this guy birdman this is indeed live hello we finished this guy over the weekend hello namers welcome 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 chat is pre-recorded though (laughs) my my on the hour, every hour, uh, required pre-recorded praise. <laughs> Remind me that there's an international group of 3D print hobbyists that make prosthetics free for children that can't afford it. Oh, pretty cool. That's very nice. Yeah, I think uh, it's interesting how cutting edge technology and the medical community are always so really deeply connected. Digi Mo Fan, welcome to the stream. Hello, hello, children. They would grow out of those so fast. Absolutely. I think that's why 3D printing is so good for them. Because they can uh, continue to tweak them. Um, Okay. So we need to refresh our FBX file here. As we change the skeleton for the legs. All we need to do, pose, reset, sample, enforce, done. Apply. And that's it. Um, well, we should make sure the VI looks in the same spot. It is. Okay. Bam. Ba, ba, ba. Yeah, hello, hello, anyone uh, that's new here. Uh, so, for anyone new, I make uh, VirChat avatars, and that's precisely what I'm working on here. It's a VirChat avatar here. Um, mostly do client commissions. I made a cool thumbnail for, for him. I can't really see it there. But, uh, there we go. Well, it's all square now. <laughs> and it made it square. Um, my nephew lost his teeth, threw them back in a couple days. I was like, what the fuck? I don't remember it being that fast. Whoa. I didn't know it either. I guess, you know, they're already there. The whole reason the tooth's coming out is because it's, it's going. It's coming in right now. It's a nice model. How much was it? Uh, this was a Quest uh, version, so we were targeting the Quest platform. So it's about $600 to $700. Um, I usually charge about $1,000 for a PC avatar, about a full a PC avatar. Um, if you're interested, I could get my website overview for commission info. Uh, okay, we're going to update the avatar on my end after we remove the uh, emotes menu because we don't need it. We don't need the emotes. Oh, that's good. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. And. One more upload. This might lag my internet while it's uploading. Hey there, Grim Skull. Good morning. Oof. 
Loading. Hopefully I'm not lagging too badly. It's so much faster when it's a quest model. <laughs> so it's crazy how much faster it uploads. Um, like how the feathers turned out on the wings. How much of it is baked or geometry? Almost all of it is baked. Um, I've got the... Here, actually, I'll, I'll view it in this, this one here. So we go here, tab. And you can see it. it's pretty much all baked. Um, which feels good. Feels good. I feel like I could have followed the shape of it a little bit better. Or in the future, I might be a little bit more exacting on where those vertices end up. Um, but since it's quest, it's like I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get it as optimized as possible. Oh um, yeah, he came out really well. All right, let's package him up. Boom. Um, actually, let me let me screenshot the legs and send that to the client. And the lighting in this scene is not great. Clicking the wrong thing. There we go. Let's bump up the intensity a little. Okay. Oh, am I taking a screenshot here? <laughs> All right, we'll take it here because it's just, I do not like the lighting in a Unity for the quest. It always just comes out so gray. We'll, we'll do it here. How did you render that thumbnail? It's all in Blender. And I can show you that scene as well. Okay, so we, yeah, we have the uh, character in here, but I made another file um, for creating that fun thumbnail. So we just rendered this out and then I add all the background and stuff in, in Photoshop. Yeah, it came out super well. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So now that we're done with Skerrick, we are actually going to be starting some new avatars. Hello, Thorn. Good morning. Hello, hello. Oh, actually, I didn't package it up. Because I didn't... Uh... Right, I'm still waiting to hear from... Get, get that approved by the client. Um, all right, new avatars. So we have two clients that will be starting their avatars today. Be this guy. Evanhorn. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Why do background and posts? Why not add a BG in Blender? It's certainly doable, um, but I did like some gradients and stuff. You can make gradients just all purely with shader, um, but I just find it a little simpler to do it in Photoshop. That's where I'm, I'm just very comfortable in Photoshop is all. And I do like having the character with a transparent background, because then I add like an outline and stuff, it just masks it out. 
Job the man loose in blender, he must put in, he put in another 100 hours. <laughs> it's true. I must make the perfect background. Gosh, the more time passes, the more stressed I become regarding my moving out. It's definitely an anticipatory moment. Um, the precipice of change. But you'll, you'll enjoy it. I heard something recently that I think about a lot, which is, uh, you know, with our emotions, we tend to interpret. Like we first we feel something and then we assign it an, an emotional value. And just like how anxiety and excitement is really just a perspective. Is that sen the sensation of it is exactly the same. Um, so just interpret it as excitement. You're good to go. <laughs> Maybe easier said than done, but. And I swear I had a template file that I made for this. I agree with that. I've been thinking about making a photo shoot scene in Blender. Okay. Heck yeah. There's a, um, uh, well, a nice way to do photo shoots is like having a nice HDRI or like sky material. Um, that's usually the kind of straightforward way to approach it. So I'm looking for a file really quick. Um, I want avatars, bases. I think I fetch that. I don't know where that went. Darn, I had a file and I must have deleted it somehow. Such a bummer. So you think that HDR is better than three point lighting? I usually use an HDRI and the three point lighting. Um, the one bummer about just having lighting in a skybox is the reflection. So you have a like, very reflective material. It's going to look um, flat. Um, so like metal or something. Metal will look very different without an HDR. It, it almost won't look like metal at all or if it's shiny and metallic. Um, but in together, they're great. With more abstract backgrounds for my renders, I also love some clock physics. With some lights, fancy material settings, you can make it look like a photo set. With a clock behind it, make it look like water underwater, for example. So that sounds nice, I like that. There's a, I just love playing with physics. Bases. No, it's in personal work. Maybe that's why I have my sculpting practice face template. I have no idea. Okay. Um, copy this. 2024 resources bases. in one of these folders. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Copy again. Gonna go to let you know what's done here. Make a new blender file. Have I had breakfast? I usually don't eat uh, I try to do a little bit of, what's the word, intermittent in, intermittent fasting. So I don't eat until uh, like noon, lunch really, lunchtime. I find that if I eat in the morning, I get sleepy. And then it's really hard for me to focus because I'm, I'm eepy sleepy. Um, so instead, I just satiate myself with coffee.
And this is the avatar we're going to be starting today. We're going to be starting two avatars. Um, this will be fun. Here, a mech avatar. Mech avatar. I brought in the sculpt, but I don't know how much sculpting we're really going to do. A lot of this is just going to be hard modeling. I usually have some juice. This avatar is going to be interesting. Yes, I'm excited. I'm very excited. I think it'll be fun to make a mech, mech character. Yeah, I'm just going to hide the sculpt and make a new collection. Um, we'll call it HP body. All I see is a raise <laughs> yeah, for the tail. <laughs> just make it simple. Array. I'm ex I, I've been really pumped. I, I like making hard surface because it's always a challenge. Um, not that it, not that the other stuff isn't challenging either, but I just uh, I end up doing it less. All right, so we're gonna have a subdivision, and then I'm also gonna add a bevel set to. Um, and I'm going to duplicate this circle and move it up top. Keep it there. This is what we're going to start with. And we'll keep it easy. We'll start with the little circle for the chest. So I'm take these, increase them, and then I'll bevel them. Bam. Which doesn't didn't come out super great. Do you really do you usually track the time spent on modeling the avatar for a customer? Just in terms of days, not necessarily in terms of uh hours um because it i with freelance work you're usually just saying up front how much it's going to cost you so that's, that's definitely one of the uh very rarely do you work on an hourly basis for freelance it happens but pretty rarely Try some more here. That should give us some nicer edges while we're working on this. On the outer edge, it looks a little bit more rounded, so I'm going to decrease the bevel crease. Oh, that might be why there's less bevel. Literally, less bevel weight. Okay, something right around there. I'm going to take this interior edge and duplicate it, move it forward. Uh, we'll fill it, extrude it, shrink it, something like this. Well, 
It shouldn't change my other ones. There we go. Have a good day. Attempt to do some work. Sounds good, loot. Enjoy your day. Thank you for coming by. Uh, and hope you have a good one. Take this edge, separate it. This one will slap a mirror mod on. Recently watched some of your streams with the sheep model. Oh, hey there, Time Tigus, welcome. Did you make the base model for that too? Uh, so yes, everything, uh, just as I'm doing right now, I'm making a sculpture. So I'm gonna make a very high resolution version of this avatar, and then we're gonna do a low poly. Uh, so I do everything from, from scratch. Uh, but hello, welcome, hope you're having a good one. And I appreciate you checking out my stream and uh, recordings. Something wrong about the. I'm going to tune out because I have to prepare for my night shift. Keep up the good work. Sounds Lauren. Wish you well with your night shift. Must be late for you. Um, but enjoy your day, Thorn. Or night. <laughs> enjoy your night. Is it very good? Oh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I really enjoy this, this kind of work. I feel very excited about working. I couldn't wait to get back to work this weekend. I don't know. I don't know how healthy that is, but I was like, "Oh boy, got a three D printer and all this stuff." Uh, just couldn't wait. <laughs> all right, so we've got some of that. I'm gonna take this. We're gonna make these piston shapes. Okay. Well, let's think a little bit. So these here, right here, are these? They must be. So these tubes can come down the side. Tubes right here. That's what we want to make. That's what we're gonna shoot for right now. Uh, I'll take a circle in here, duplicate, separate. No, I take that back. I take that back. I'm just gonna take this guy, top. Duplicate, bring him down, bam. So rotations should be zero, which makes things very useful to tweak. Do I print them? I do. I just got the printer. I'm hoping to print some of them and then offer that uh, as a commission as well um, for a part of the commission. So far, I have not uh, done it just yet. I've printed something in the past, but uh, or printed stuff for people in the past, but... Or for myself. Right about there, extrude, shrink in, extrude again. Increase those, bevel them. I 
I'll actually unbevel this one. Shouldn't, shouldn't be beveling there. So I can push the bevel weight to like zero basically, and then it just looks like that. Doesn't seem right. I may have some trouble with these bevels later. <laughs> oh well, we'll figure them out for now or work with them for now, but that may be difficult to, to tweak later. All right, let's slap a mirror on this one. And we're gonna create a collection up top, which I'll call hidden. And we're gonna make a axis right in the middle, which I'll call underscore mirror axis. And we're gonna hide that. But now I can mirror things really easy off that object. Okay. Um, why don't we get the head in? Take this, duplicate it, point six. Oh, I also bought a 3D printer recently, but I don't have a resin printer. Mine is very cheap. How long have you been using Blender? I've been using Blender for off about 10 years, but I really started transitioning my career and uh, my focus to this about four years ago. Um, and I was like, man, I love VR. People are looking for stuff in VR. And I just kind of never, never really looked back. Um, before then, I was using it to do like concept art, um, which is fun. But uh, it, I just realized it wasn't the path I actually wanted to go down. Uh, so I, I transitioned to, uh, to this. Do something like that. I'm actually going to do a mirror mod on this one. Bam, fill, extrude. All right, all right, all right. And we'll take these edges. Um, but yeah, I love, I love this work. Um, it's great. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. A lot of hard surface modeling on this. Yes. Yes. I'm excited. It'll be a good, good learning opportunity. Remember to switch this one to offset beveling. I'm having to redo it in a bunch. Take this face, extrude and shrink. All right, and there's our shoulders. It's going to 
be a fascinating way to work. Okay, let's do the head now. Check this. Move down. And we're going to mirror it. Take half, delete it. All right, and we're going to work on the face itself. I'm just going to move it over here so I can look at this while I work on it. Um, So it has a square profile. So we're going to try to make this like shape right here. The other side of the face. Well, Preset, bevel it. Maybe I should put the bevel before the subdivision. sharper. Okay, so a few things we really want to attack are the eye. We want the eye socket to be well defined. So put a cut here. We'll take this edge, indent it, delete this. Move it in. It's a little too big right now. Take the socket, put a cursor there. Scale it in a little bit more. Should put the cursor right there. All right. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. And then I should be able to see. Move this one forward. Hello, Tiox. Welcome. Move that forward. 
this one backwards. I think we can kind of level this side. Which have a little bit of an angle, but mostly like that. And the whole thing kind of be tilted. Why are you not in your normal office? I just uh, rearranged it. So I'm actually still in my office, but I was facing this way before. And now I'm facing this way because uh, I got a 3D printer, which we'll be playing around with at some point. And uh, just needed to rearrange it in order to utilize it properly. Pretty excited about it though. Pretty excited about it. Boom. We'll do something like this. What is the smallest country? Probably the Vatican. Would be my guess. Take this one, duplicate, separate. <laughs> I'm just old. With wis with age comes wisdom, or at least that's what old people want to think. <laughs> Actually, we'll just put it here and. Cut it. That's a little simpler. Oh, it does go into a point. Um, one more cut, and we'll just collapse this. Collapse, and then center. At last, bam, dissolve edge, there we go. Now we've got something. What animals in, our, in Australia are the big lizard dinosaurs called in saltwater? Com like Komodo dragons? Oh no, uh, I wouldn't know what they're called. I'm not sure. I'm thinking of Galapagos Islands, I think. Uh, Australia. Alla Alligarord. Alligators. Oh, well, that makes sense. <laughs> I should have got that one. <laughs> or I should have known.
Oh, what are they called? Not alligators. Crocodiles? We got Crocodile Dundee. Crocodile Dundee. There's a start for the head. Largest planet in the solar system. Uh, that's Jupiter. So large, it almost became a, a, another star. The hottest, probably Mercury. That'd be my guess. Not Mercury. Interesting. That might be an average. So I think Mercury gets hotter when it's in the sunlight. Because it's lit, it's so much closer to the sun. But I'm not 100% sure on that. I think the beveling is not working as I want it to. Interesting. There we go. Something like that. Today was 38 degrees Celsius. I feel like my devil is not working. Huh. What the? Okay, so we definitely have to put the subdivision first. Most definitely. Goodbye. Sheesh. Is 100 degrees Fahrenheit hot for Texas? Oh yeah. It's actually, I would say, a little bit um, hotter than you'd expect because it's very humid here. Very humid.
Well, today felt like 51, which is 105 Fahrenheit. You must be on the southern hemisphere, because here in Texas right now, it is very cold. It's not very cold. Well, in Texas, it's, it's just wet and rainy right now. Wet and rainy. weird that looks so strange why is it doing this Level. So one, two, three. I'm in the land that's not upside down but perfectly upright New Zealand okay so for the edge Austria. Were you saying that to counteract the upside down comments? Well, that sounds fun. Man, imagine if. Uh, Lord of the Rings, they just skied past, you know? If they had just been good skiers, they probably could have made it to Mordor really fast. I feel, I feel very, very cool. <laughs> I feel so vertical. Let's give this a solidify as well. That looks weird. So let's, let's remove that. Um, if I take this face and I indent it, move that down, how well does that work? Change to zero. How many messages have I sent? Uh, that I don't know. I do not know. Increase that. Increase this. Okay, now we got a nice sharp edge that we can bevel. Oh yeah, this is gonna look great. Reminds me of a motorcycle. <laughs> like a like the motor seat of a motorcycle or something. Bam, bam. All right. It's looking pretty cool though. Start of the head. If 
Bye now. Hope you have an amazing day in Texas with cowboys and guns and stuff. Thank you, Tiox. Enjoy your evening. Thank you for coming by. And I hope you have a good time skiing. It will parent these to the head, or child them to the head. Hello, Zen Ed. How have I been? I've been doing really well. We finished our bird boy we were working on over the weekend. And uh, we're moving on to some new avatars, so it's always pretty exciting. Making some hard surface stuff right now. Noodle maker, hello. Mentos 3D, that's interesting shapes. Thank you, yeah, we're working on the top of the head here of uh, this character. Probably a little bit hard to see just with all the uh, background images. But also, hello, Mentos 3D and Noodle Maker and Zen. Good morning. Happy Monday to y'all. How it started, I need to fix the weight on these fingers a little bit. How it's going? Okay, I've rebuilt the fingers and adjusted the bones. Now just to weight paint them. Whatever you do, ignore the technology on the hand itself. <laughs> Challenge. Challenge mode. Can I guess where you're from? Go right ahead. Goodbye, horses. USA, Texas. I'm not from USA, Texas. I do live in Austin, Austin area. I live in Texas right now. That's not where I'm from. You know, from yesterday, I started using Blender. Today, first time, I created realistic water simulation. Oh, that's exciting. Heck yeah. Simulations are fun. We were just talking about it. Snardom was just uh, mentioning how much fun physics are in uh, Blender. Cali, indeed. Indeed, I am from California. California. I guess I just need to lower it a little. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> am I smart? I like learning, but I don't think I could call myself Smart, smart. I feel that I know what I'm doing for certain things. <laughs> Not everything. You know, oh, you know what this really reminds me of? What was, what was really, there was like the Mech Warrior series, like Zoid or something, where they had like cat mechs and stuff. Feel like you know what you're doing, eventually you'll get it. Well, thank you.
Should I just merge this one or dissolve this edge? No, I need it to swoop. I need it to swoop. But I could just cut here like that and then dissolve this one. Yeah, that looks a little bit sharper. Beautiful. I'm from Azerbaijan. Oh, heck yeah. I watch uh, this guy from Azerbaijan who does like uh, cooking stuff. It's pretty cool. And then we can bevel this one. Bam. Azerbaijan? <laughs> Be unsure. Jasmine Prince, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. Welcome. What's up with you? Welcome. Um, we're just working on this mech guy right now. We're getting mechy with it. That's uh, the game plan right now. Make make mech, but we're working on a client commission, which has been a lot of fun. Let's go this way, Let's back that way. Yeah, so we're going to need to make the whole thing. Okay, it's too far, it's too long. We need to bring it back. As Azerbaijan. It's got an R in there though. John, not Jan. I'm doing quite well. I hope you're having a good day, Jasmine. Um, right now, it's a Monday, so, you know, I feel excited to be back and working. Um, that's always a good good feeling. You know, I like, uh, I really do like, <laughs> I have to stop working on the weekends because I will just keep working. Like, I... I have to just really work hard to stop myself to not work because uh, I, I, I work all Saturday as well. <laughs> uh, how much time you learned in Blender using this professionally? I have really started doing these commissions uh, for these avatars full time about uh, four years ago. And I started studying um, Blender, like learning it, getting a feel for it. Probably uh, 10 years ago, but I really only started taking it seriously about four years ago. <laughs> what the hottest planet do you know? <laughs> Someone just asked this. Uh, it's Venus. Goodbye, Ho Chi Minh. Move this here, bevel it, cut it. I don't know. Is this the same person from a while ago? You just have a separate account? <laughs> Bevel that. I'm from California. I uh, currently live in like Austin, Texas area, um, which is a fun place. But California is my home, home state. And 
let's make sure this bevel is the same. Right about there. Yeah, look at that jaw. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> uh, you're from UK Manchester. Okay. I, I am not, if that's what you're asking. I'm not from the UK. No. I would love to go to the UK, though. That seems fun. Especially like Ireland, Scotland, the UK. Really would love to go there. My favorite game so far. Favorite game? Absolutely favorite game? I think I'll always love Mass Effect a lot. That was a good series. Always have a soft spot for that. Any Bioware game, I'm, I'm about. I'm about it. Other than that, I really just play VR chat and VR games. It's kind of my, my jam. It's my jam. My man jam. Currently, I'm studying CS engineering, but suddenly I've started gaining interest in animations, aside from coding. Like, <laughs> well, if you like the technical side of things and you like animation, you should look into rigging. Um, because uh, there's a lot of money to be made there because it's not something a lot of people do want to do. And it's, it's rather technical. But you, you can absolutely get hired. People will throw themselves at you to hire you if you want to make complex rigs and stuff. Uh, if you look at the chat, so I, I multi-stream. So there's more. Uh, I'm, I'm on Twitch, YouTube, and also Kick. Uh, so there's a, there's a few other people in chat, but they're just in the box above. Multi-streaming. Multi-pass. Multi-pass. Said I am somebody? I'm not sure what you mean by that. Like most of us... Like most, Last of Us 2 and GTA 5. Okay, heck yeah. I enjoyed Last of Us a lot. I wouldn't say it's my favorite game, though, but it was really good. I need to flatten this. Thank you. Yeah, I think it's coming along well. Look at him. We're gonna probably get the head done first. What noodle maker is jealous? Noodle maker jealous? I don't know about that. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not my design. I did not design this character. Um, is my client's uh, design, but it is cool. Thank you, Jasmine. I like my stream as well. <laughs> I definitely need to spruce up my visuals here. But we'll, we'll do that in like a year from now or so. <laughs> so. <laughs> we'll get around to it eventually. Bye for now. Have a good day in Texas with the cowboys and guns and stuff. I'm getting the feeling you are the person I was talking to earlier. You said the exact same thing last time. You're Teox. On to you, Noodle Maker. T slash Teox. I do stream it every weekday, every weekday. So yeah, I'm a. I do I do this full time. Um, oh, this this is my. I don't. Uh, I don't do. Um, uh, I don't game on stream. I just make things. This is my. This is my main thing. Well, thank you. Glad you're enjoying my stream. Happy to be here.
happy to be making things. I really want to match this. Then. Actually, we'll delete that because we're going to take out the bottom here of this section, duplicate it, extrude it down, separate it. No, actually, I'm going to delete it again, but extrude it. 0.6SX, then 0.8, move it back, and there we go, nice. Um, I recently graduated from Metro Metropolitan University of Manchester with a degree in game development and visual design. Oh, very cool. I wonder, I'm not familiar with the game development scene in the UK, um, but I, there, I'm guessing there's some studios over there. Do I also create characters without red concept art drawings? Only for myself. If I'm getting commissioned, I require that they have um, reference images or a character design sheet because uh, it's a lot harder to go back and forth with a 3D model than with a drawing. By the way, I have some pretty dope ideas in mind for your channel, and I share the ideas. Um, you're welcome to, to offer suggestions. Hi, right, buddy. See you soon. Having my dinner right now. I hope you will have a great day day ahead and wishing you the best of luck with your projects. Thank you, Zen Edits. Good luck with your projects as well and hope to see you soon. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Just send your friend request kindly. Have a look on Discord. Gotcha. I'll take a look at lunch um, in a little while, but uh, I'm going to finish working on my stream for now. Got to make sure I'm getting the time in. And we'll do another extrusion like this. This is going to be this back fin thing here. Fin thing. Like that, I guess. It goes very soon. Thank you, Munka. Hurry. Oh, welcome to the stream. I hope you're having a good day. And we're going to merge these at center, 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 bam. And we'll make it sharp. Boom. Yeah, so, so far we got this little chest piece. We got a little bit of the shoulder. I think we're going to have to do a lot of readjusting on the face. Because we'll probably want the eyes to be a little bit more forward facing. Um, otherwise, it's going to be really hard to see him. Hey, Munka Hurry, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for coming by. Right now, I'm working with a team to develop my own game to be published. No problems with finding character artists for the pirate crew models. That's really that's fun. Um, doing like a One Piece style game. Got to get back to work. Can't wait to see you on the stream. Sounds good. Good luck with your work. Good luck with your game. Thank you for coming by. Over. And we're going to push that out too. That's a little bit more forward facing. I'm also just going to take them all and kind of, yeah, just kind of squish them out a little. Well, maybe. Let's do that. Point six. Okay. Now it's just got a little bit more form. And that way we can see the eyes. It's supposed to be a character. It's going to be on a VTuber screen, so we definitely want to be able to see the eyes. There were a team of nine, but no character. Gotcha. See you. Enjoy your day. Thanks for coming. Bye.
and we'll lower this. Right about there. Bam. Should have just lowered the whole thing, but <laughs> hindsight's twenty twenty. All right. He's got a little bumpy on his nose. I think we can start sculpting out the uh, upper upper teeth. No, I think I'm going to do this. Well, it's hard to see what's going on here. That should be better. There we go. Now we do need an upper spot there. Okay. Uh, but now two first. So it goes up, down. Something like this. And then this one's down, and then this one's up again. Just one, one, two, so that's good. Except for this spike, which kind of comes down here. I always love it. It's like the Evangelion spike, my favorite. All right, too big. <laughs> All right, I don't think I can make that joke anymore. <laughs> uh, something like that. Then. Straighten that out a little. All right. I mean, that's not bad. I kind of like that it's a little, got this like smooth extrusion for the eye socket. That's kind of cool. I like that. Um, I like it. All right, so he's got like a little scoop for a tooth. All right. I feel like it's heading the right direction. 
Ha! It's, 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 heading, it's heading in the right direction. Alright, that's a terrible pun. Let's put the solidify above the mirror. Or below the mirror, I mean. Below it. Maybe below this one. No, those all look bad. On the bottom jaw, there's the corner spike, one spike, and then that's not another spike. It's actually just the jaw, like this. Like how it goes up, this goes this way. Fascinating. This is going to be super, super interesting to make. I'm excited. It's very precise. Good morning, Fallout. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a fantastic day. We're working on a mech guy. Too big on the back. Should be much smaller. Uh, for the back of the head, uh, let's put our cursor right here. Take both objects. And we'll do point six SY. About there, or so. But we need to ask you a question. I'll have to do some testing, but you ever run into a problem where with your shoulder bone, if you cross your arm against each other, the arms pop out of the socket and start twisting upside down. That doesn't make sense the next time I'm going to record what happens. No, that, that does make sense. Um, and is an unfortunate problem. Basically, the only way I found to really alleviate it, um, first is make sure your arms are long enough. Um, and second, for the shoulder bone, it should be straight. It should be just a direct. Um, so if I go to my character here, uh, go to this view. So it's just perfectly straight. Um, if you give it like a slight direction, VR chat's IK system really likes to just whip it around and then it affects the lower arm as well. Uh, but I, I like to make this perfectly straight. The other thing that might be happening is you do want a slight bend in your elbow, even if you just take the bone and move it. Like if your arm's perfectly straight out to the side, just take the elbow and move it back just a little. And that way you can kind of give the, uh, Unity's IK system and understanding of where it should bend. Like a, like when you have a piece of paper and you put a crease through it, so it'll bend. Um, 
as you want it to. I'll make a cube. I'm going to hit it with the bevel. And we're going to bevel. bevel and then we're gonna bevel hopefully that helps hopefully that helps actually this is perfect I'm just gonna load this up right there This with a mirror in a second. Make it a bit bigger, a bit thinner. Hello, AKR Rectalius. Welcome. Interesting stuff I like and sub. Well, thank you for the sub. Much appreciated. And welcome. Hello. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, but yeah, we're working on a mech, mech guy at the moment. This is my uh, commission. Do you happen to have some inspirational stuff on pixel art rendering in Blender? No, I can just search YouTube, but do you have a pixel art anime in neon in mind or something? <laughs> Uh, I really only turn to like the Blender NPR channel, which I believe we've talked about before. Other than that, I don't really have anything that comes to mind when I think pixel art in Blender. Send photos in your server. I'll try what you said. Thought it was weird. I've made my own rigs for humans from scratch. My personal avatar is the old Nanachi rig. And I always had that shoulder popping out. Excuse me, um, let's take a look. Interesting. Yeah, I would assume that this angle would do that. You should be able to adjust those bones just fine without breaking anything, because the weights are gonna be the same. Perhaps the orientation might be a little bit different. Um, Interesting. There's, they're also separate. These bones aren't directly attached to each other. I don't know if that'd be a problem. Should be fine. It looks like all your bones are actually like that. They're uh, have like a offset. Yeah, I, I really try to avoid an angle like this on uh, on my shoulder bones. Just snap them back, make them line up uh, with your your arm. I do wonder if people in VR chat that have like longer arms, if they encounter different rigging problems than others, like, cause I've had some weird rigging issues that I'm just like, does anyone else experience this? Like, I don't, I have no idea. Um, So here's one thing I did. The avatar actually has my one-to-one -one body proportions, so I went crazy on it. Oh, nice. That makes sense. Much more of a tailor, tailored fit. <laughs> Virtual tailor. Hmm. 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take these, combine them with the last one. Take our bevel and just set it to cut, shape it smooth, adjust that a little, and RZ. I want it here like this. Bam. And then we'll hit it with a mirror mod like that. Okay. That should be working. <laughs> Interesting. Huh. It reminds me of Legos so much. Like this is a very classic action figure look, which I, I enjoy. Uh, there's also the arm to length slider in full body sets. That definitely helps. I, yeah, for the some of the avatars I've had issues with. <laughs> I realized recently that I had uh, left my... Um, I just needed to... I, I spent like months testing and going like, oh man, my Quest headset's just like not... Um, not working properly, you know, it keeps uh, having me float off the floor a little, but it turns out it wasn't that it was just me um, not realizing that I could reset my floor settings inside VR chat. Foolish. I should have known. I should have known. Let's make this much thicker. All right, all right. It's looking pretty good. Definitely heading the right direction. I'm going to take uh, this right here, duplicate it, separate it. You know what? No, I take that. Delete that. Take this one. Take these edges, duplicate, separate, flatten them, move them up, squeeze them in. Extrude down. Delete that. Then we'll add a solidify. Right. Here. You have to be before the bed. Okay, and we'll parent that to this object. Ooh, look at those arms. That's kind of cool. I wonder... Okay, so I think we'll make one 
We'll make him without the cannon and we'll just be able to swap to it afterwards. Because we'll probably want hands for both hands. Hands from both hands. Yeah. I'm going to apply this first mirror. Add a bevel to it. That feels a little bit cleaner. A little cleaner. Dope. All right, and our little chest piece should be bigger. Uh, there. You know, I remember another question, but I think I know. So I was trying to remake, to make a fallback version of my Abbey, I had to have it super low quality to the quest version. Is there a way to have the quest version and fallback versions be different, or do I have to upload an entirely different avatar to make it work like that? <laughs> uh, so uh, there are, you can have multiple versions of a quest avatar. For a fallback version, it has to be either excellent or a good rating. Um, and so that would mean it's just you know less quality, less stuff you can add to it. Um, so in a way, uh, oh, it's already gone. Uh, so you can upload a bunch of different quest versions. Um, yes. So if you were just in quest, you could have a higher quality version. Uh, well, I was uploading the fallback version. It overrided the quest version I made. I believe you'd have to upload it as a separate avatar. Um, like you want to upload your quest version just on its own, the, this new version, and then, uh, the fallback version you upload to the same account. So if you have your PC version, you can upload your fallback directly to that, I believe, and it should automatically link them. Though you can always just manually assign a fallback avatar as well, um, which could, could work out in a nice way. All right. Do 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 do. Da, 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 do. Let's make a plane, rotate it. I want to start on the waist. We'll hit it with an indent. That. <laughs> 
delete this, take the top, flatten it, uh, take the bottom, squeeze it in. this, subdivide again, middle crease, middle crease, take the top, extrude it back, actually take the whole thing, extrude it back, take this edge, extrude it once again, and back. We could probably delete this for now. Or dissolve it. Take the edge, crease it. Crease it. Then take these sections, crease them, shade them, crease those. All right, look at that. Got the little Whatever this is, and the thing, we got the thing. Make another plate, rotate it, shrink it. This one will be a good candidate for an array. Add a mirror, move this down, Add a bevel. Oh, that looks good. And make the solidify just a little bit more. Never sure what the best these are offset or whatever. I all feel like they just don't quite do what I want, but I don't know. All right, then we're going to add an array. Perhaps like this. There we go. Very satisfying. And we're going to do three of them. Excuse 
I can live with that. A little bit sharper. Let's switch this to eight. Nice and sharp. Scale this one out a little. And I think I'll probably use a Boolean to really sure that nothing's poking through got the top here if I could take this edge get it in The relative offset makes this so weird to work with. And so close, it just keeps scooching this out. I really should put the cursor. Okay, that took a little bit more effort than I <laughs> initially thought it would, but we've got it. We've got it. Um, and we could probably do a little bit more with it once we're ready to. Um, let's take this, duplicate it, RZY180, and then RY180 again. Maybe that. Flip this. Increase this. And this really does take me back to like my childhood. <laughs> Just think about making Legos and stuff like that. A very nostalgic feeling. I cheat a little bit. Cut that. Delete that. Probably have to apply everything and do it. Okay, one step at a time.
solidify. Can't go any lower than a bevel on these. Oops. I had to mirror this guy as well. Coming together pretty quick, actually. Probably get rid of the slip by this one. There's a little thing on the side. It's a little different on the drawings. Okay. Then take 
this guy. Duplicate. Control L, separate as well. Lower that. Solidify distance. Say object set origin to geometry. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And we'll hit it with an array. Going down. So make some constant offset. Negative point one. Uh, but it's still tied to the local direction. Just check, Zoom isn't around. Better make sure Zoom catches this model. Might end up with another commission. <laughs> okay. Uh, gotta entice him with the robots. Here, robot, robot, robot. Oh boy. some way to cut them. All right, that looks awesome. I'm gonna give all of these a material, which we'll call HP body. I'll make it red. I'll make them metallic and Maybe not that glossy, but definitely metallic. Get a kind of a feel of what he's looking like. I'll flip them this way. It's a little bit easier to get a feel for what it should look like. I'm going to take that circle we have, move it down. We got three joints. That one here, here and then at the bottom. Shows me we need to kind of move everything up. Oops. 
say for these ones that we're going to object link object data. It. On these ones, I'm going to bevel these. Maybe. I can't for some reason. <laughs> um, all right, let's just cut it again. Now I should be able to bevel that. Bam, bam, bevel. I don't get it. I don't get it. That shouldn't be. Must have been the scale. Make object data again. Right there. Take these. Base extrude along normals. Control plus point two S X. Then point two E extrude in point eight S X. All right, and we've got some joints now. Satisfied. And lastly, we'll copy the mirror over. Got some joints. Whew. I really want to. I just, just really want to take a shower. I keep thinking like, oh man, I'm gonna go take a shower. My brain's stuck. <laughs> Time for some food. Looking forward to seeing how this one turns out. Happy blending, everyone. Same to you, Sardom. Enjoy your day. Thank you for coming by, and uh, good luck with the projects. All right, back. I'm going to go wash my face really quick. Just feeling kind of greasy. Be right back. And I'm back. Okay. I'm going to take this box here and we'll use it to make the little foot part. This part here. 
start it. Should be all the way on the floor though. That. Duplicate it one more time. We're going to make this little piece. And we'll delete everything again. Set widget 2%. Nice. Okay. Feed. And we just keep going. Duplicate this one, move it over. Going to take these edges, delete them, and this one. We're going to add a little mirror. So I'm going to hit this mirror, move it to the top, and remove this. And this will be this little paneling that goes from the ankle to the knee or the back knee. I guess it's the, ah, whatever. This toe to that toe. About here. And then kind of cut it, extrude it again. Take this, bring it in. That. We're beveling, but we should put in a solidify too. This will give us a bit of connection. Expect it to get this. Uh... Okay. Something like that.
bit there. Though the front of these are very interesting. They've got like this spring or something. Spring. I guess this would be centered a little bit more evenly. So let's let's back up a little. We'll scooch this directly back. Take this guy, dissolve him, cut it. This should be like a perfect circular cut here. Um, I'm trying to think of the best way to do that. Something like that will probably work. not look very nice. I think we'll do a boolean cut a little bit later on. Right about there. Now they do thin out. In fact, all of these are a little bit thinner than I have them. Probably right about there. And definitely on the bottom. Just really quickly, we're going to make one of these tips. Take this guy, move him up. Um, let's delete the back. Actually, let's do the whole thing. Cursor to selected. Make a plane. Rotate it. Hello, Niles. Welcome. Happy Monday. We're working on a robo mech and a deal. But that's our project for today, making the robo mech. Looking good, Autobot vibes. Absolutely, absolutely. So here's the, the full design. But I'm excited. It's very fun so far. Definitely going to be a little bit challenging to make, but 
all good things are. Yeah, again, hope you're having a good Monday. Making another circle. Bam. Do people change their VR chat avatars often or rather do they stick with one? I think it's kind of a mixture of both. There are people that um, definitely want to have like their one and only avatar. Um, but just in general, you end up with a lot of avatars. Like there's a lot of ones you can add uh, easily to your account. Like you just walk around and you can find a bunch. Um, so that definitely changes the, dyna the dynamic a little bit. Um, but most people have their like main avatar. Uh, so it's a bit of both. People are kind of swapping in and out all the time. Uh, though it does come down to like a personal preference too. I'm definitely generalizing a little bit, but, and you'll have ones like, you know, cause uh, some worlds or some events might require you to have like an optimized one. So you like go to a dance rave or whatever, and they're gonna request that you have a more performant version. So you might have a version of your character that's just for dancing. But that is somewhat just my own understanding, and everyone does it a little bit differently. If you haven't checked out uh, VR chat yet, you don't need VR to do to to explore it, um, and it, it's a lot of fun, a lot of goofy stuff going on in there, um, but definitely worth checking out uh, if you're interested in, in this kind of stuff. <coughs> Excuse. Me. It's, it's just a great place to, for creative people. It's like, there's always something new happening. People are always making new stuff. Are you mentioned that? I will try it soon. Yeah, you should. I definitely, definitely recommend it. It's a novel experience. Yes, I have a 2070, I think, or 2060, so I'm in the same boat. And if you're doing it on desktop as well, then you'll be fine. I mean, there are crashers, crasher avatars out there, so people may go out of their way to uh <laughs> difficult, but... Uh, <laughs> but... 
for the most part, that should be more than enough. Basic, you're basically getting double of the, the performance of everyone that's in VR, because you're only rendering it once. Instead of uh, for each other. All right, toe. He's going toe to toe. <laughs> have I ever made quadrupeds? Uh, I have Diggy. Um, I made a, a robot quadruped. I've made um, a tripod, actually. My very first VR chat commission was to do. My apologies. Uh, a War of Worlds tripod. That was fun. Um, but if you're looking to make a quadruped, there's actually a really convenient uh, prefab or L set you can buy to really quickly and easily make um, a quadruped. So th there's some resources out there that if that's what you want to do, I would recommend doing it. If, if I have to make a quadruped again, I will just get someone else's asset to uh, make the logic because that's certainly the hardest part of it is uh, um, <laughs> making sure just for ease of use, even like weapons and stuff like like this guy has an axe. Um, I'm just going to get a prefab to make that work uh, properly because I, I don't want to. Uh, I don't particularly want to make all the logic from scratch. You can, but you don't have to. Have you ever worked with AMD GPUs or do you stick with NVIDIA? What about Apple Silicon? Um, I used, uh, I mean, I used, I used to have MacBook, so I would use Blend on that. Uh, this VOD going to be available on YouTube? Yes. Yes, it will be. Um, yeah, each, everything's going to be streamed to, uh, to, um, <laughs> to YouTube as well now. So if you ever want to revisit it, it'll be there. Um, but yeah, I think, uh. I don't really have any preference when it comes to compute. Uh, I just end up using NVIDIA a lot. Well, I, I take that back. I do like the RTX stuff. Um, a lot of the programs I use are built with that in mind. So unfortunately, NVIDIA does, for better or worse, NVIDIA does win out a lot of the times uh, for me. Hey, Grimskull subscription. Thank you. Much appreciated. Much, much appreciated. Thank you. Yay! <laughs> clap, 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 clap. Thank you again. Bam. And let's lower this one a little. I'm doing 3D too. This is good, sir, especially for me modeling. That mech I talked about last week. Absolutely. Mechs are interesting. I've only done a few robots, but uh, they, they work a little bit differently. <laughs> I'm doing 3D too. My biggest issue with character is always the face to make that Disney aesthetic work. I'm an NVIDIA fanboy for basically all my life, but I'm tempted to try AMD as a next GPU upgrade. I, I've heard, especially for VR chat, that there's a lot of issues getting AMD to work properly. I don't know much more about it just than he, having heard about it. But uh, I just just would want to do some, you want to do some research for your specific applications. Um, what, what you want, what, what you're looking to do in particular. Uh, but Diggy, if you're looking to do like Pixar stuff, Definitely, um, oh, sorry, 
distracted. Definitely just reference it directly. There's probably some good models you could uh, find online just to like look at. Like Sketchfab probably has some fan art of like Disney characters, and you find some good ones just to like break down and understand like, oh, how did they make this aesthetic? How did they make it look like Disney? That's kind of always a good way to do it. So I can feel it cramping out a little. Okay, I think what we'll do for the toe. Do I combine them all right now? I want to make their toes, but I don't know if it's a good idea to combine everything just yet. This is going to be interesting when this all kind of comes together. Thank you. Oh. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Goodness. He looks like a lovely Digimon. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the blessing. Here, my sibling is sneezing in the other room, too. Heater must have just turned on. All right, so I'll put one of these edges right here, the other one over here. The goal is to fit this edge in between these panels. There, so. Uh, 
this. Close this up. Push it out a little. Should be flat though. Hello, Radcat. Welcome. How you doing? A Wobot. A Wobot. Whoa. Yeah, we're making Xena Praga. A Wobot. Switched up my, my room a little bit too. My office. Get things organized. <sighs> well, how's your day going? Hope you're having a good Monday. I'm doing okay. Hope you're doing well. I'll be working on some emotes today while I lurk. I like the new signal. Thank you. Got a TV printer. So we're gonna be farting around with that sometime. <laughs> He'll try to, if I'm doing really well, I should be trying to get like a 3D print going while I'm working like every day or something. We'll see. We'll see, that might be a little much work, but I mean, it's just sitting there. Like it should be getting used. I haven't set up mine yet. Okay, you got one too, nice. I really want to, but I gotta make room. Yeah, I, that's why I re reorganized us like. Ah, uh, well, time to see if I can fit this in my room. <laughs> All right, take a circle again. But after I model, I'm doing the retopo again because I want, I cut so many shortcuts just to see if I get it functioning. Now I want to go back, add some extra loops in here and there, see how, so it moves less. Gotcha. Jackie wall. <laughs> well, good. So you went and did it just to get it rigged first? That's not a bad way to do it, just to know how it's all going to come together.
You can get through the process because it's been over a year since I last through went through the motions. Excuse me. Uh, for re for retopology or rigging. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah. Yeah, it's one of those things. Just doesn't feel comfortable. <laughs> Do your best, but sometimes it just just doesn't feel very good sometimes. Most of the time. Well, let me know if you have any questions. But I'm sure you're gonna kick butt. Be a butt kicker. Oh, pretty cool already. Maybe lots of sculpts because I love sculpting, but they're always like the rigging is so time consuming. I'll just sculpt something else a little. <laughs> That's funny. I'd rather just do something else. <laughs> I wish I could have it scale. I guess I could use a curve if I really wanted to make ensure that it scales properly. Excuse me. If you're gonna that bad, but the sculpt's bad, then the product capture is bad too. Retopo is fun. Retopo is fun. I may have said Retopo, but I think Red Cat's talking about rigging. <laughs> Retopo is stressful too. <laughs> I enjoy it more now, but I avoided it for, for many years just so I could get to the, the parts I enjoyed. I think the head's a little bit too big or the shoulders are not far out enough. Make a backup copy. While it's sculpting, even though we're not really sculpting. Do all the modifiers just get applied after? How performance in VRC usually? So right now we're making the uh, the sculpt. So this is gonna be the sculpture version that we're making. Um, modeling but it's going to be way too dense to bring in so we're going to retopo this uh this character um once we get get to it um but generally in order to have a to avoid a very poor ranking in vr you have to have under seventy thousand uh polys so i just sculpt a model and paint a model maybe animate that would be best all steps in between i need an assistant <laughs> blend gpt Please. 
<laughs> I did actually make a uh, GPT for um, doing over the weekend. I made a GPT because you can make custom GPTs now uh, through OpenAI. And I made one for scripting, but specifically scripting for uh, VR chat worlds. So it should have some understanding of like VR chat and Udon uh, Sharp and stuff. So I'm I'm gonna. It's on my Twitter, but or it's in the Discord as well. I guess if it's hard surface, you just quad remesh it with the add-on if you've got that. I'll do hand repology just because I know how I want things to unwrap. Um, I don't mind the quad retopology tool, but uh, I just prefer to have um, to know how it's it's laying down. If that makes sense. You know how it's coming together. I need AI to do three things, retopo, auto UV squaring, and rigging. <laughs> Soon enough, I suppose. Soon enough. We'll be there. I think I'll just delete only this one. Solidify. Bam. Yeah, I can 3D sculpt already, so you got it going for it. <laughs> yeah, it'll be interesting to see all the little tools that get developed. Pretty skeptical of the idea that things are going to get replaced as fast as uh, AI advocates are saying. Um, like, uh, people are like, oh, movies are over. I don't know about that, but <laughs> I certainly think things are going to change. So I need to move this back like this. Yeah, because so that needs to like connect right here. Oh, that's cool. I like how that looks. Now there are these little holes in the back. Yeah, this this part totally reminds me of like like guns. Um, the like little spongy 
flexible plastic sections. I think a lot of Monopoly on Media is over. We'll be phasing out since more people have access to tools that allow them to make cool stuff. We're going to kind of hello. I do think AI Retopo is something that will happen. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. That saved me at least like a day and a half of work. Also, hello, Laura. Welcome. the bevel a little bit more I like when it's kind of kind of a soft look hello <laughs> shrink wrap some finished meshes on top of the sculpt could also help like loops around mouth and eyes that's my main method since uh blender added the um retopology view it's made it it's so much easier to work i used to use retopo flow uh, or i briefly use retopo flow uh frequently but then it's just like What's the point? So many, it's so weird to hop into something that doesn't take advantage of the, how you actually work in a, in Blender. It's like, oh, you want to use a loop cut? Hey, too bad. We invented a new shortcut to do loop cut. Like, but you're already in Blender. Just keep the same hotkeys. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> I used Retopo Flow too. Performance was rough on my PC. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Like, okay, now I'm gonna enter Retopo Flow. Five minutes later, what was I doing? Oh, I had to wait for it to load that whole time. Pretty much, pretty much, have stopped using it. Um, just use shrink wraps and uh, and the Retopo view at this point. Um, it's a great program, but I think that I appreciate not having to go back and forth and that I don't have to change my, my thought process when I'm working in it. I can just go in and continue working as it was, if that makes sense. If that makes sense. I've tested the quad remesher add-on. Cost though, which is made by the same dev who made Z remesher and for stat. So it's good. Things it works really well. Retopo change. Do squats in between starting st slash stopping. It'd be mega ripped. Mega ripped in no time at all. <laughs> A while back when I was playing uh one of my a contractor is a VR shooter. I like kept hopping. Uh, every time I died, I'd do a push up. Like I was pretty sore after a little while. <laughs> it didn't take long to be in pain. Maybe I just got to get good. <laughs> Hello, Shatter. Welcome, Shatter. I'm commissioned artist. But I was only going for the slot first and still have no idea what to get. <laughs> you gotta get that. Uh... Well, at least your excitement's there. Maybe have them just make a custom character for you. Be like, uh, what, what do you want to make? How's your day going, Shatter? Oh, no, that's what I wanted. I think 
uh, instead what I want to do is take this bevel it and bring these in like that. Going well working on classwork right now. Nice. Well, I hope you're enjoying a chill day. Here it's, uh, it's raining here in Austin right now. All right, we'll just do this on this side. Cut it. I'll just delete the other side. Mirror. George Day Sam, I'll be lurking. Sounds good, Rad Cat. Good luck with your work. Good luck with the rigging and retopo. And uh, we'll catch you later. There we go, I guess. Hard to tell, there's actually not much space between this little piece here. And this guy. We need to bring these in. No, no, I want the chest to be that big. So we'll go the other way. Should be like right there. Let's make the tail. Let's make the tail. So I'm going to make a curve. Because I think that an array without a curve is a missed opportunity. That's what it's feeling like to me. We'll take, uh, let's make another cube. I hit it with an array mod and a curve. Set the curve to here. Call this the tail curve. And on the curve, we'll select it and hit it with the bounce clamp and stretch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
right? And then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the array needs to go this way, or I just rotate it. Let's slap on a solidify as well. Time. And then Point eight SX or Y. So all right. Now on the array, change the relative offset, kind of sink it in. Sit right about there. radius like that. Ha, yeah, cool. <laughs> That's really satisfying. <laughs> cool. Now it does curve up onto the back here. I think we will. Do I curve it or? I think I'd rather have it attach lower and we'll make a custom, at least top two will vertebrae, whatever they are, do on their own. cool though. Let's duplicate this. Move it to the back. This guy.
nice. Shade smooth. Then it looks like it's curved a little bit, so you will have to make it curved. Let's move it up. Take this, move it down. Bevel. And then another tube with horns. Tube. Tube. Put that cursor there. Put this there. This one can definitely be a bit bigger. We can begin to adjust some of these interior curves. Um, let's be a little bit more accurate. That robot might not seem huggable, but I will make it work. <laughs> Hug me. <laughs> and stopped. <laughs> that. And then we'll make, um, whatever. we're going to take this spot right here, duplicate it, separate it, and we'll turn this into the horn. This one I do not need a bevel on. Definitely a separation. Let me try this again. Delete that. There's a way to rotate edges while keeping the Crease. I think there's a tool for that in toolbar. It's like shear. Is that what it's called? Blender shear. Shift Control Alt S. Shift Control Alt S. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very useful. Need to remember that. <laughs> Need to remember that. Too useful.
wildest shortcuts. <laughs> I guess I could rotate these. Like that. They look a little bit smaller than I've made them. Uh, put curves there. Move it in. Oh, that might be enough. You just got little nubbies. Okay, I think that looks good. So this is actually a little shorter. Okay. What next? Uh, we should start on the arm. Let's make, let's go back in here. I'm going to make uh, some new potions. We're going to move some of these things like that into the arms. The rest of these can go into the body for now. I delete this collection. So hide the arms. Yeah, let's try to finish the torso and then we'll move on to the arms. It's going to get harder to adjust the torso and the arms together. Finish one, make the arms around it, and the head and stuff. Okay, so make a cube. Nope. Take this, duplicate this, move it down. This is going to be our neck. Go. Okay, we're going to separate this front portion. Add a crease right here. I guess right here as well. Just want a normal cut right there. Get all the S just a little. Take this bevel. Let's move it down. Or I could bevel. I think what I'll do instead is I'm actually just going to rip it. I'm going to rip it. And we'll also add a solidify. Just 
flip up the mirror. Move these back. In like so. All right. Okay. I feel like that's working pretty well. Okay, copy over our solidify again. Still really hard, I should make, <laughs> I should make one more collection for HP head. Take all these objects, and move them into that collection, and then hide the body. Increase that. Also bevel it. Is my bevel even doing? Really? Nice. Well. Odd. I've never seen it be this color before. All right, once again, mirror. I'm just in the zone right now. Sorry to be so quiet. I'm just kind of brains working, well, trying to work.
go. Okay, that feels pretty darn good. The eye position the, and the jaw, the proportions on the head itself are really off. Like, it should really be like this. Oh, okay, and that's much better already. Closer. It's still going to be a little bit to get the. I think the head's probably going to be the hardest part to get perfect. The horn looks a little small. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> One tough aspect of the mouth is it's drawn in with this black fill, the black void, but that will be impossible to actually do because you're always going to see through. So I then need to close this, like just imagine that this is the mouth being open. Actually, I have other reference for the head. So let's find it. Okay, yeah, so it does actually close. Um, perfect. So it can be like, We'll need to adjust that a little bit more, but but we can do something like this. Hello, video video. Welcome. It is a Mac, indeed. Working on a. Xena Prygon! Xena Prygon! <laughs> but hello, welcome. Once uh, I'll be on lunch in about 20 minutes and we can get your your av avi uploaded then. Um, if that works for you.
Yeah, it's mech time. It's mech time. It's mech time, baby. Perfect, perfect. That will work out nicely. So hard to get this work. I need to move the upper lip down. This design looks so cool. I love Max. Me too. Me too. Uh, I don't often get to make hard surface or robotic characters. This this feels very fun. I'm excited. Do, 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 do. But I hope you've been having fun at the convention. That looks interesting. There we go. <laughs> Hello, Sara Chatel. Welcome. We're working on mech stuff right now. Okay, that, that's looking much better. I need to get the eye in there, I think, to really get a feel for it. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna do that. We have this black shape here. I think we'll like push that in to indent it make it Bow, bow, bow. Cursor there. And then point, scale that in. The movement's gonna be really interesting. <laughs> really, really interesting. Can I add constraints to those and stuff? It all it is all final IK, so I, I can add a final IK constraint. We'll see.
do have to make sure that the bounds the same, or at least close enough. Increase that, and we'll add one more cut on the end. Increase that as well. Hello, Angel Star. Just checking to see how you're doing. I am doing well, and I hope you are as well. Happy Monday, y'all. I will be going on lunch in about 10 minutes, but I'll be back. For anyone new here, I just break up my day into two streams. So we'll be ending the first one soon. I'll be back in yeah, about two hours or so. Let's see what that looks like. Select this. Copy. Not apply. Copy to selected. And copy to select. So now we got these little tubes. You're underrated. Keep up the good work. Well, thank you, Angel. I appreciate that. Do, do, do. Oh, I should have done. There we go. Tubes. Tubes. There we go. Squish it in. And squish it in. I should not combine that's yet. Nice. How satisfying. I'm going to take the front of this. Uh, maybe not. Uh, we'll take a plane. I don't know. It's supposed to fit right on there. Yeah. We'll take this. Do one at a time. Pop it off. Move it forward. Scale it up a little. This one should be extruded up. 
in. Nice. I think I should probably separate these two. Or at least get a bevel in there. Or just do that. So we get nice clean separation between the two. And I'm also tempted to do this. Should have zero saturation here. And we're going to give it a coil. May as well start separating them into a few different materials. Um, Hello, gamer headshot. Welcome back. Hello, bro. How is your day going? It's going well. It's going well. You caught us just before lunch, and we're, we're working on this mech here. Uh, so this is what we're making, mech dragon, and uh, we're making good progress. We're this, we started this this morning, and uh, yeah, things are going pretty well, pretty darn well. A lot more to do, but that's the fun part. The work continues. There's always more to learn and do. But I hope you're having an amazing Monday. Monday. All right, do another material. This will be the lighter metal. It's not too many things that have that. It's just these tubes. Tubes.
But now it's a little easier to tell them apart visually, which I think is good. I saved your channel for myself. Hey, well, I'm happy to hear that, Sarah. Thank you for coming by. Thank you for saving my channel. And uh, I do hope you have a great rest of your Monday. I think I will be. I'm going to do a few more things, and then we're going to be moving on to lunch. Um, but I will be back later today. So definitely in just an hour or two. I'll be back soon. I mean to say. All right. In fact, it is a good time for me to go ahead and end this. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out with me this morning. It's been a busy day. A lot of people coming by, a lot of people chatting. It feels very good, very exciting. And there's a lot more to work on. Um, again, I know I've said this a few times, but for anyone that's new here, I do break it up into two streams. We're going to go on lunch, and I'll be back very soon. But thank you all for hanging out with me. Thanks for supporting me, chilling, learning. Feel free to ask any questions and stuff. Maybe start some tutorials about character modeling. You read my mind. I do have a few, a few up uh, for rigging and things like that. But I, I do want to make more tutorials. Stream was fun. Have a good lunch. Same to you, Skerek. Uh, let me get that uh, uh, Unity package over to you. Expect that soon. Audio. I'll be getting that character uploaded with you right now. Um, everyone, thank you all for hanging out with me. Have a nice break yourself, Arctic. And I'll see you all very soon. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, everyone.